Okay, so I happen to have two of these. They're bicycle wheels from a kid's bike. Of course, we've got loads of bicycle wheels, but we've got two kid's bike wheels. And when you look at something like that, you've got to think something interesting can be done with it, haven't you? So what I'm going to do is turn it into a gravity wheel generator, actually both of them. So the first things first, obviously, is to get these tires off. So after removing the tires, I chopped off the forks and quickly knocked this up. So the wheel actually fits rather nicely in there. There we go. And we can fasten that onto something like a bottom step. So we need to do something for this one. Okay, so there's the bottom wheel fixed to the bottom step. And I've made this top bracket here, which is just a square of steel. And this was uh, a connector for an antenna, actually. I put the wheel in that square and that gets connected upstairs on the banister so that these two are in line. So let's go and do that. Okay. Okay. There are the two wheels in place. The top wheel and the red wheel and this bottom blue wheel attached by this, which is a fan belt made out of polypropylene strapping that's been heat sealed to join it. Now, obviously, if I pull on that, then the red wheel turns. The blue wheel is just a guide, incidentally. If I hang a weight on there, exactly the same thing is gonna happen. So I can hang weights on my belt and get it to rotate that red wheel. And if I put a generator on the red wheel, we have a gravity machine. <laughs> In videos 112 and 113, we made this thing, which was a hand crank generator, and we uh, charged a phone with it and lit in some LED lights with it. Now, it's made from a drill, and of course, I've put a drill chuck onto the red wheel, so I just need to screw that in, connect it to something, and drop some weights, and we should be able to get some generation. So, I'll get that done. Okay, let's give it a go. I've got an LED lighting panel right there, and we'll see if it works. <laughs> okay, so I thought that was awesome, not because it worked, but because it didn't. I mean, it did like the light, but that polypropylene belt bounced off the way it skipped across the floor. But it did like the light, and that was cool. So it didn't work 100%, but it did give a lot of easy-to-answer failure points that will give us an obvious improvement on it. I mean, one thing, when that weight hit the floor, that light stopped being lit. There's a problem. Maybe we could do something about that. That polypropylene belt is obviously far too stretchy. There's another form so we of need... mechanical battery. The energy in here is stored from when I brought it upstairs. So it's me bringing this upstairs that stores the energy. And then gravity reclaims that as it goes around that little mechanism. Now, it's not much more than a glorified clock, really. Clock pendulums work on the same way. When you have a weighted clock and the weight drops down, it drives the clockwork. So a gravity battery actually is a really well-known thing. Now, I've chosen to use these weights because I like the little hook arrangement, I like the fact it drops off. There's a whole host of things you could use in the same arrangement. You use marble, steel ball bearings, sand, even water if you want to. And it is a nice way of constructing a gravity battery when you don't have wind and you don't okay, have Okay, so water. I hope you enjoyed the video. Watch out for the next part, because the next part we're going to solve those problems. And please don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.